Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This is the Aqua Elite 360mm AIO from Thermalite. This is a new product off them. They've actually got multiple different options for AIOs. This one in particular I thought was quite nice because of the design on the pump housing. I think it looks really nice and with obviously the... With software control, it does look rather spectacular, which you will see in the B-roll I will be running after I've spoken. So, let's get straight into the B-roll, and then what we'll do after the B-roll is get to these the glorious benchmarks, and then we'll have a chat, and I hope you guys continue to watch. So... Okay, so I have benchmark results. Now I have done multiple tests. I've done six in total and they are my usual run of benchmarks. I have added a to 64. I don't always, but sometimes I will. So except for a well, they're all free to download, but a to 64, of course, you get a 30 day trial and then after that you have to pay a fee. But of course, let's get into the benchmarks itself. Now I did run Cinebench R20 which was a custom 15 minute run so to allow the liquid inside the AIO to heat up. The idles was a 28 Celsius, the max was a 55 Celsius, rather chilly. Cinebench R23, that was another custom 15 minute run, that was an idle of 27 and the max was a 58 Celsius. M more cooler than anything. Blender Classroom, sorry about that. The idle was a 28 Celsius, the max was a 55, so that's still rather good. Blender BMW, the idle was a 29, the max was a 57 Celsius, and A to 64, the idle was a 29 Celsius, and the max was a 57 Celsius. Now, of course, yes, this is a 5600G, yes, it is in a hot, a very warm CPU, but it is more of a general cpu people would buy when it comes to gaming that is generally the standard these days six core 12 threads but even if it isn't as powerful as many other cpus on the market it doesn't matter someone who's just bought their own gaming system and they're going to look for something to upgrade and make look a bit more fancier because rgb is for gaming yeah as much as i love rgb uh, yeah so what we'll do now is we'll have a chat so, like I said, it is obviously a 360mm rad. You get the RGB fans, which are 1550 RPM. They are rather loud at full tilt. They do sound like a jet. It's just about to go off. So, that is one thing I'll say. I don't like the noise. It is rather loud, but that's one thing. That's one thing that uh, Thermrite... At, unfortunately has got some problems with at the moment there's a lot of the products are rather loud at full tilt i wish they'd go a bit more silent or optimized but of course they do so many different aios it's kind of hard as for the aesthetics of this i think it looks fantastic i really do like the rgb effect especially the pump housing it does really look fantastic uh this is on sale at the moment on aliexpress for 60 i believe it's 63 or 64 pound but general uh msrp which isn't really a thing these days it is 95 pound on aliexpress now of course you've got to pay for shipping that'll be over 100 pound so you know it's a basic uh, price for an aio these days but of course this aio is based on basically a acer tech um pump housing that way overall like i said the overall aesthetics is gorgeous i do really like the aesthetics it looks got really nice the fans are loud i don't like the fans they're very loud as well as obviously with this uh, their aios particularly now they've started selling them with pre-installed fans but yes it does save a lot of hassle trying to mount fans and all this stuff you know, there's that all-in-one kind of 
Yeah, get it. Uh, all in one question is it should you buy it? Uh, honestly, when it is on sale, I think it's really good. But obviously, you have to take the pros and the cons. The pros does look brilliantly. The pro performance is there, but then the cons is the fans are rather loud. And that's pretty much it There's for cons. So... <laughs> But yeah, look, I have got more products and more videos coming. I've got another product coming from MSI. I have got stuff from AOC, more keyboards, mice to show you guys. Overall, I've got another AIO. I've got a pack of fans as well, or thermal right to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and a new NVMe uh, heatsink, which the last heatsinks I did, the videos performed very well. So what I want to say is I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And of course, this is Richard from Wildstack. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.